everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So, I've got to de-kit Peter Rabbit. Um, this is my Craft Buddy Crystal Art 3D Buildable Sim Kit. Um, I did do an unboxing before Christmas and Christmas Easter Liz. <laughs> an unboxing of it and show you it all uh, before easter and it has been up all over easter and if you saw my little video sorry if about the crinkling uh, we have millie moo in the room with us and um, she's just inspecting what i'm doing uh, millie moo is our little scottish terrier what's he up to hey what are you sniffing <laughs> and uh, yeah she does like to be in and know what's going on and i'm tidying all my craft room again at the moment i'm rearranging uh, and organising all uh, my storage folders so there's quite a bit on the floor and at the moment she's having a really good sniff and looking in all the bags so that's what the crinkling is okay sorry so back to this uh yeah so it's been up all over easter and um, i did do a quick little video showing you all my easter display it wasn't as brilliant uh, as i wanted it to be this year life got in the way a bit unfortunately but anyway um it's going to be kitted down I suppose, I mean, to be fair, it's Peter Rabbit, even though there are Easter eggs on it. I suppose you could keep it up all year round. But uh, I've got so many things I want to do and so many new products I want to put out that, uh, yeah, he needs to go away for now. He will need to be sealed, though. So uh, I will be doing a sealing video on this one and quite a few other things that I've done as well. So, right. Fortunately, it came in a nice little box. And oh, that's the pen from my little Easter sign. Um, yes, yeah, so I wondered where that was. I put things in a safe place, you see, and then I remember where they are. <laughs> oh, yeah, as if. Okay. Okay, so I've got these spare drills, I think, left over from a different kit that I've done that still need to go into my uh, drill storage. I have a lot of the kittens to do. So I'm going to put those on one side for now and see how we get on. So at the moment, I'm just going to put Peter Rabbit back in his little box to keep him nice and flat and straight. And then I will get him sealed and he will be put away until next Easter. And if it comes round as fast as the last Easter did, oh my goodness. Uh, when I took uh, my chicken design out um, that was from last Easter, I couldn't believe it was a year since I'd put it away. So we'll just pop him on one side for now. We want our special drill storage. Now this is a craft buddy one. So there is all DMC numbers um, for any of the normal drills. But then there are also special drill numbers that are their codes that they use for their special drills. So at the moment, what I'm trying to do is put all of my special drills into sort of some sort of number order so that they're all organised. And I'm using the Craft Buddy system, seeing how it goes for now. So let's have a look at these. I think we need normal round drills to start off with. So we do need a tray. So that if Spilly Liz decides to throw them all over, then they won't be uh, all over. It's quite so much because they'll be in a tray. <laughs> okay, so we are starting off with DMC number 351. Just put the specials over there for now. I hope you can see this. For whatever reason, mirror is not working again. It just doesn't like me today. Um, I can actually, if I was recording on my iPad, uh, it would record, uh, it would show on my phone what was happening. But trying to do it the other way around, the phone is saying it can't detect the iPad. So obviously the iPad and the iPhone aren't talking today. But well, what can I say? It's up to them. <laughs> I'm not getting involved in arguments. <laughs> So let's have a look, 351, there it is. And these are resin drills as well that uh, Craft Buddy use. So they tend to have a little bit more sparkle because they have more facets on them. Okay, so that's that one done. So I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, it's fun and games in the Harrison household. Uh, we've had... 
uh, four hospital, well, three main hospital visits and uh, taking a, um, a COVID test up to the hospital before a procedure. So it's been quite uh, busy here. Um, I've had two migraines this week. I managed to get another one. So two in a week is unheard of. So I think I've definitely got a bit run down possibly. Um, so yeah, but these things happen. And it's a long, long time since I've had two migraines in one week. Uh, in fact, it's quite a while since I've actually had a migraine. I, I, as I say, I usually do manage to catch them in time, but twice I've been, I've woken up with them. And if uh, I don't get my tablet straight away, then they flatten me, which is not good. But anyway, we got over them. Um, Hubby's had all his... Uh, treatments and tests and uh, yeah so I think we've only got two hospital appointments next week no we've got th three appointment uh, three appointments but one of them's a telephone appointment so yeah not too much dashing around hopefully next week unless they find anything in the test results from what they've taken this week uh, and then we might be going back again but anyway at the moment we're doing okay and he does seem better. Um, he's certainly stronger than he was. Uh, he's, yeah, he's doing okay. I'm trying not to be too optimistic, shall we say, but I can't help it because I just look at him and I feel like I'm getting my hubby back again. Um, I feel as though he was taken away from me, uh, even though I, I got him back. Um, I feel as though it just wasn't quite him and he hasn't been for quite a while but I feel as though I'm getting him back a little bit now so the sense of humour is definitely back I mean, you know he has his moments but it's coming back more and more so we've certainly been having a few giggles recently which uh, that's what life's all about I think that's how we sort of got together in the first place because we've just got so much of the same sense of humour just crazy and we just uh, giggle away like children and uh, half the time we're laughing so much we can't even explain to anybody else what we're actually laughing at we're just laughing and they always say laughter's the best medicine i like to think so anyway i do try and uh, put a positive spin on things if life gives you lemons then chop that sucker up and stick it in a gin and tonic. <laughs> Forget your lemonade. We're going to have a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh dear. Right, where am I? Seven, one, two. I'm filming a little bit later today. So I've had to put the light on. So I do apologise for any of the shadows that we've got. Um, I am starting a little fund. Uh, to save up for some proper lights so that I don't get all these shadows so that I can see things properly because it's not brilliant at the moment. I watch my videos back um, and I just think, oh, that lighting's not very good. You can't see that very well. Uh, maybe I'm just getting picky as I'm getting further into doing videos. Um, I want everybody to be able to see things properly. There's no point in saying, oh, this is this wonderful product when uh, it looks like a black cat in a coal mine. You know, you can't actually see what you're looking at. <laughs> wow, how many different colours have we got in this one? Goodness me. Anyway, hopefully if I ever run out, I can just pick out the ones I want. And if I'm doing a project, oh, look, we've even got a purple and a black one in there as well. They've obviously wanted to join the yellowy mustardy party in that one. Definitely yeah, a few escapees. So, yeah. Let's just oh, get these off. So there's double stickers on these because I was exceptionally lazy, Liz, and didn't take the labels off when I put them on the last ones. Right, where are we now? 738. Okay. This is my storage. My rounds aren't quite as nice uh, 
as my squares because these haven't got all the new bits of card and the new labels in these are still the old ones that i did myself um i'll see how finances go and i may or may not get some of uh, rebecca add more zests cards and stickers because they do look nice and i think once you've got one nice you like to have them all nice you know they just want to look all smart and regimented um, maybe that's just me uh, but yeah i like to have things organized all right where are we now we are on 799 nearly top of the shop these in okay yeah i mean i could do another set myself but um mm, yeah i'd still be diamond painting and if i can stretch to buying some more card and stickers from rebecca then that little bit of time saved doing those cutting them all up and doing them is worth it to me okay cracking on with these i hope you can see these as i say i'm working a little bit blind at the moment on this because of wind uh, mirror not working no idea why just drives me mad uh, they're fairly well they're not that old the iphone and the ipad that i've got they're not the brand spanking new ones i'm i'm not into this i've got to have the brand new one that comes out unless the new one can do significantly more than my old one and my old one's still working okay then I, I don't see the point in getting a new one um i know some people like to have everything you know up to date and brand new and everything but i don't use enough of it uh to make it worth my while right we want to be in box two now we're on the nine sixes i'm just knocking everything everywhere at the moment i'm surprised my rounds all fitted in two boxes because i have got a lot more rounds than i have squares so we want nine six four. There it is. Like this colour, nice fresh green colour. It's a lovely spring day today. We've had some fantastic warm days. Considering the children have been um on school holidays, it's been brilliant. Been really lucky. And oops, that one's not wanting to come off yet. I should have taken them off straight away. Look, serves me right for being lazy. I'm struggling more with them now because they've been on for longer. And we went up three, eight, six, five. So, oh, can we get any in there? No, we can't get any in there. That's a very, very full bag. So, what did I do with my three, eight, six, fives? Are they in here? That's my uh, three tens look. <laughs> that's uh, three one eight, and I think that's some more three tens because that bag's full. And these are B five two hundred A B. Oh, that's my bag. Fifty percent B five two hundreds, just the plain whites, and fifty percent the A B crystal ones. So if I'm when I put the white crystals on, particularly like when I'm doing snow and everything. Um, at Christmas I like to sort of just scatter them about so if you put them randomly in your tray you pick them up randomly because if I start trying to do random it doesn't seem to look random for whatever it is <laughs> no so um, what have I done with them uh, there they are so I've got so much out all over the place at the moment this room it looks like an explosion in a diamond painting factory. Somebody's just literally opened the door and gone woof and thrown diamond paintings that way and drills that way. Um, but when it's finished, it will look fab. Really fab. Uh, I've got another folder today. I've got an A2 folder so that my 40 by 50 canvases fit in it. Um, to combat this, really, I could actually start doing more of the damn paintings <laughs> she says and then uh, i wouldn't need to uh, have so much storage for them so i've definitely got two hobbies one collecting diamond paintings one collect diamond paintings and drills and the other actually doing the diamond paintings <laughs> but as i keep saying 
some of the diamond paintings I've got have maybe cost three, four, five pound. Um, I would say, I mean, I do occasionally buy a, a higher price one, but you know, I like my a cheaper end ones. You know, I'm, 30 by 40 seems to be my happy spot for just sitting and doing a diamond painting and achieving it. Um, so yeah, I just think for the price I've paid, if I went out for a coffee and a bun, I'd have eaten and drunk it in what five, ten minutes. Depends how fast you drink, I suppose. Uh, and cakes don't last very long with me. And I just think, well, then it's gone. But I've got a diamond painting and I can get it out and look at it. Even if I've not done it, I can still get it out and look at it and dream about the day when I can do it. <laughs> okay, so right now then, stop wittering, Liz. Let's get on with this. So now I need to be in my special. Okay. So their codes, they actually start off anything with a double zero and a number is a crystal. So I think these are all crystals. I can't see that. Was there not any UBs in this one? <laughs> she says picking up an empty tub. <laughs> oh dear, it only went up to 22. Yeah, so these are actually all crystals and um, there isn't any special shapes or AB crystals. So they all have a number. Um, so now I need to go through the ones I've got and see if I've got that number. If I haven't got that number, then I need to put them in a sat a new bag and a new label and put those on. So, OK, let's have a look. So this is just your standard. I mean, we know that this is just the standard crystal, um, but they call it number one. So we'll start with number one. And I have, hmm. do you know, they look, do they look like there's different colours in there to you? Do you look, do you think there's grey in there as well as the silver? I think there might be. Hmm. I think so. I think I've got muddled up with that one somewhere. All right. Anyway, so these are the uh, standard silver gems that you do tend to get in a lot of special drill paintings and a lot of special drill projects. So that's number one. Um, I do still have my jar <laughs> of my silver crystals. That's uh, how many specials I do. And... Uh, special projects and items that have lots of sparkle on them so i will eventually get this filled and then i'm going to paint this silver or i may paint it black i don't know but i just thought it looks pretty when they're all together i don't think i'm going to be running out of those anytime soon <laughs> so that's the first color done okay now then let's have a look at the next one this one is number five. So have we got a number five? We haven't got a number five. We've got a number four and we've got a number eight, but we haven't got a number five. So I will use the pink ones from here because I've actually run out of just pink on their own. Where's my pen? So we want an, a zero, zero, five okay and put them in a little bag so hopefully i will eventually have a full set <laughs> but i have got that crystal tiger that i've kitted up that has dmc numbers on it so the whole system may completely change because i may go to having crystals um in dmc numbers so that will be interesting to do. Right, just take that one off there. Okay. Is that number five? What have we got? Four, five, then eight. Okay. So what's the next one that we've got? Is number eight. So we want number eight, which is oh they don't look the same, do they? Oh dear craft buddy, don't let me down. Please don't let me down. I've started this little uh, project like this so that I can do this. And if you're going to start changing colours on me, that's not going to be good. Because I thought these were all the same colours, but mm, maybe not. 
see to me that looks more that colour which is number 10 Next one. so I'm going to put them in with number 10 because they're definitely not those they're a lot different colour oh dear yeah I think it's going to have to be the DMC number way oh dear that's the thing with any sort of storage and any sort of hobby that you have it evolves you start off with um oh somebody just sat on my foot it's like having a hot water bottle sat on your foot on a hot day i can do without it <laughs> uh yeah your hobby evolves you know what works now um might not work in six months time it's an ever-evolving circle of things that you do and you know you suddenly think oh no i think that would work better that way and it's whatever you can do mm, you see they're a different color again oh heck craft buddy you've let me down see does that see that looks more 16 to me that's that color oh dear all right and then my next job is going to be putting a card <laughs> with one drill next to each number so rather than having to look through each packet i can just look down the card and say oh yeah that's that one that's that one and it will get done eventually i mean these things take time they take time doesn't matter does it i've got plenty of time so this one is 22 so let's see if 22 is anything like Oh, this has really let me down. Stand up, stand up, come on. Just get yourselves in order, you lot. Can't be doing with your faffing. So, they're uh, definitely yellower, yellower than that one. And there's more goldy than that one. See, I don't really want to start muddling them up because I've just sort of separated them all out into nice colours I might put that as a 22 yeah I'm going to put that one as a 22 um, I'll use this label just to spare 22 and we'll see put it in a different bag and then we'll see what it's like on the next one when we get the next 22 but I've got a horrible feeling that these possibly might all be different and that's not what I wanted <laughs> oh dear all right Oop, get these little critters off all right so let's have a look 25 we are on to a green oh we haven't got a 25 so we want an O oh, at 25 and a little baby. Okay. Pop that one in there. So that's another new one we've got. Oh, definitely fighting back these stickers. God, Millie's warm on my feet. Bloody neck. It's a good job I haven't got any socks on today. She's been exceptionally clingy at the moment, bless her. Right, and that's 26. So, yeah, you see, that's the right colour. Good. Yeah, she's had to be left on her own for a few hours while we've been at the hospital and she just likes to come everywhere with us and what with everything that's gone on and um, the uh, lockdown and everything. She's not really been on her own um, and she's only just, well, we've had her five years. She's only just five, she was five in February. So she's not used to being on her own and she just enjoys being with us. She's quite happy even if she's just sat in the car. You know, if we go somewhere and we just have to go and nip to the shops or whatever, she's quite happy to just sit in the car while I go to the shops and then, you know, come back again. She just doesn't want to be on her own. She's far too nosy for her own good. Uh, but yeah, so she's been very, very clingy. 
Oh, so we've got a 28. So we've got another new one. Okay. So it's 0, 28. Get one of my little bags out. Wow. More new gems. Oh, this one doesn't want to come off. Let's get it. And unbox this one. Twenty-eight and then twenty-nine. Yep, you see that's the right colour, so we're going okay now. Oh look, I've not taken the label off that one. I'm getting ahead of myself now. Okay, so that's that one. Okay. I don't like it when it all comes together. one off here come on get off get off okay that's that one oops oh, i don't want to go in oh, that's because i'm trying to put it in the small bit Ooh. and then i think this may be the last one this is 45 yeah so number 45 come in your time is up okay 45 45 have I got a 45? No, I don't have a 45. So another new one. Ooh. And I must get some more stickers ordered from Rebecca. So that I can get my pots finished off. Okay. Right. Oops. Ta -da! No spilling. Spilly Liz has not made an appearance this time. Yay! <laughs> and I'm just going to take these off here. Because I may as well get all the labels off while I'm here. And then they are done. Yeah, when I'm doing uh, a special drill project that has quite a lot of colours um, and this one obviously had quite a few different parts as well, I thought I may as well uh, put it into bottles rather than trying to work from bags. And I am very clumsy, very, very clumsy. And particularly when I get tired, I get even more clumsy, which is just so ridiculous. So I uh, tend to find that if I put them in bottles, I don't lose them. And then if I've missed one, I don't have to go rummaging through little bags and taking paper clips or sellotape or whatever off. I can just look in my bottle and see what I've got. And I do like this uh, 28 pot lipstick holder. Um, it is for, it is a beautician's thing. It is for lipsticks, but I just think for just doing a quick kitting up for something that's a quick project, it's great. Love it. Okay, well, that's those done. And as I say, there was no specials or no special shapes there, so it was just a case of putting crystals away. But it's just so pretty, this Peter Rabbit. I just love the colours on this, and I love the way that they've done like the little daisies and daffodils and all the little pastel y colours in. And uh, Jemima Puddle Duck, she's come out really well. And the little ducklings, and we've got another one down there. So, yeah, I've had a lot of people say how wonderful they thought this was. And, oh, isn't that cute? And, oh, I love that. So, yeah, I'll get that sealed and that will get put away and ready for next year. Okay, that will go in my logbook so that uh, I can write down my uh, details of what I've done and that I enjoyed doing it and that uh, the drills were really good and it just all came together really well. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, this kitting down with me and seeing the completion of a Peter Rabbit and Jemima Puddle Duck scene. And if you have, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. If you've got any comments or questions, if you leave them down below, I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And if you want to come back and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.